Don't kill me. Ak was just a little guy. He's walking around the roost. Having a good time. Dude, this stage uh, sucks. Whoa! Uh, let's take that. Need items on Acrid anyway. I need speed, and that's the one thing I will lose with Acrid. If it was the other way, if it turned all my items into white items, I'd take it. I spend the character. Mm, someone with mobility. Transform per item or per stack? Per stack. If you have 30 gas and one benthic and it rolls gas, you're losing the entire thing. Looped items instead of permanently making them reds. That would actually be fun, too. Oh, okay. Well, I found it. Everybody. I found the item. <laughs> oh, the pot's right here. Oh, I'm gonna leave immediately, then. As for Captain Advice earlier, just be E6. Shotgun beacons are a lifesaver sometimes. Dude, congratulations. That's fucking sick. I'm glad you are able to use that advice and win. Hell yeah, dude. Hmm. There's a lot of, um... There's a lot of chain trends here. I want all the gas I can get, so I'm not going to pick up that mocha because he needs speed. I used to hate him, but playing him once changed everything. You hated him until you played him. <laughs> That's how I think artificer haters are, you know. It's like, this character sucks, this character's stupid. And then they play and they're like, holy shit. I hate artificer until I got past stage 3 for the first time. See? What's it talking about? I like Ari. Fucking thumbs up, dude. Hell yeah. Mission printer stage 4. Yeah, let's hope we get an FMP then, at that point. Why did I fucking pick that up? I didn't mean to, I was looking at chat. I think we'll just do that. We don't need every gas in the fucking world. Alright, nice. Nice. We're speeding up, baby. We'll get a, uh... Let's grab her soon. Whoa! I haven't got a lot of boss items today, man. Yeah, they're better, more of a, yeah, loader sucks and Dean is broken because he can heal himself. Alright, he I saw this, like, one chat message one time that, like, weirdly stuck out to me. Someone was like, dude, in Risk of Rain, all the melee characters are just troll characters. They don't actually do anything. I was like, oh yeah. Yeah, like, loader's just a meme, dude. He's not actually, like, good. People just, like, uh, swing into. They do the melee so well in this game. In my kind of character? No, that makes sense. I mean, not everyone has to like Loader, but you have to respect Loader. That's the difference. Nice, I actually did want the wrap. Phase 4 skip Mythrix on Loader, always have trouble with that, usually just camp with pylons. Phase 4 skip, just uh, hit him with a firebrand. Oh no, the skip is normal stage 4. Um, I usually hit him directly at the start of phase 4 with a punch. He has saver spaces, I let the pylon hit him first. And then usually get most of my items back and then go for a swing in. If he's like really powerful or something, it's important to walk up to him without using your grapple and then punch him. Because if you grapple into him and then punch, he'll just shoot you in the back while you're going directly away from him. Unless you hit the ground immediately and, and turn. Uh, first time to see someone actually properly swing the loader, not just drag themselves toward the enemy, get up to a ledge. They go to Mach 7 and one-shot a boss with a crowbar. Yeah, it's the best. I'll see if there's a cleanly pull anywhere. Could get a pearl. Nice. Not nice, but scrap. Any tips for an Eclipse beginner? Um, yeah, Disputed Origin actually has a really good Eclipse guide on YouTube, just for you. And I was also featured in that guide. Check it out. It's like an hour-long video, though. But it tells you everything you pretty much need to know. I hope that helps you. My biggest tip, though, for you would probably be, uh, don't put too much emphasis on going too fast. And, uh, don't try to rely on healing too much. Wait for him to teleport, get some fucking gas in here. Yeah. Finally. I'll do this, why not? I hate myself. Hmm, nice. Running his Gubo? Eh, I still need him right now. Didn't really think about it. If I get another equipment, like soon, I just have to wait for it. It's not a big deal. 
No, I'll use Gubo. <laughs> that guy's fucking burning. Mm, I guess. I don't have a good band procker yet, but maybe soon. Oh, come on. The the goob crit needs to start hitting ours. Yeah. It's over here, bro. I can't really stay on it. It's too long here. Whoa, more bands I can't really use. This is awesome. Oh, nice. We got it. Okay. There's a crab. Don't kill me. I just gotta go. <laughs> Try to get something else, but like, dude. Um, I think that's it. Where we scrap up. I don't really need that. I think we're good. I'll do this. Can we get a worm or something? A bear printer? Yeah, uh, that just seems like this seems like free. Hey, we got a speed printer. I think we're probably gonna go bears though. My bear over speed? Uh, cause we're pretty fast. Like we're gonna get some speed, but I'm not gonna go all into speed. Cause if you go all into speed, then we're at danger of Ackard killing himself from going too fast, hitting a wall, and then hitting the ground right after. Also, it's Ember Mithrix, and I'll have a feather, so bears kind of are enticing. Sarah Spaces drop make you want to go bears more or less? Um, less, but I still might go them. Another bear. Alright, so it looks like gas is going to be entirely useless. I think we just actually go full speed and bear. I have so much gas that I'm not using. What else do we want? The one AP round? Most of my extra damage is coming from my greens. What else do you need? Nothing. Healing would be nice, but I don't... I have the neural, I guess, so it's no big deal. Alright, well, settled then. We already have 13 white scrap just ready to go. Give me the FMP, dude, please. There's like one chance to get it from this shrine right here, and then it's over. No more FMP. 30 bears for 80? That's not bad. Okay, well... Probably just print all bears and then turn them into speed after. If I had the uh, FMP, we had the fuel cell and the uh, soul down on the stage. Just missing that last piece. I'm dead. Or what? Can you? I, I got chained into another one. Into another one? Okay. It was like three or four in a row. Just managed to beat Monsoon solo for the first time. Bane is the man. Hell yeah, man. I'm proud of you. I'd assumed I'd not do Eclipse, but I think I'm ready to start with at least a couple survivors. Hell yeah. Honestly, I mean, here's the truth though, right? Eclipse 1 is pretty much exactly the same as Monsoon. The only difference is you have to actually, you know, go and beat Mythrix. But I mean, you know, if you do that anyway, Monsoon is exactly the same. So, and you get your uh, Monsoon Mastery skins if you beat Eclipse 1 as well, by the way. So I recommend anyone looking for like, oh, maybe I'll practice Monsoon more. Honestly, just go to Eclipse, man. If you're intending on going to Eclipse at some point, just gotta do it. You have to go through so many like M uh, E1, E2 type stuff, E3, before it starts being like really different that like, you know, might as well start now. Uh oh, land. Thank you. Deal <laughs> cell. I mean, that's pretty good though. You can get some goobos in or whatever. And you're the only struggle. NG is the really is really the only one I struggled on at first with E1. Yeah, I mean, E1, E2. I'm having a stroke. Um, it's just mostly about learning the character type stuff, like what you should be doing, learning kind of how they feel, what they need. All that kind of stuff. Just gathering experience. You get OSP if you have 50% health with a full 50% barrier over it? No. Barrier does not replace one shot protection. Let's just make double, triple, omega sure that we have everything we want. And that there's no uh, hidden FMP. Why is your least favorite and most favorite character? Who is the weakest and who is the strongest? The... I like every character. My favorite character is Loader though, because she's fun extra fun. There is actually one right there. Holy shit. I don't think there was like a technically weakest character. 
there are weak er characters and there are strong er characters, but I don't know. Loader and Railgun are like the strongest probably, but because items are such a huge part of the game, it doesn't really matter. All right, let's print bears. Let's print a billion bears. Let's literally sit here for several minutes printing bears, and then we'll print sweep. Uh, this kills my turret, so proc bands on them, which ends up killing me at the same time. So you're talking about phase four. Um, really? Phase four, just don't use your turrets, because he'll proc ATGs and stuff off them. You just gotta use your harpoons or something. Or, you know, if you're using bubble shield, then use bubble shield. Basically, it's a shift battle. And mines. I'm not sure I'll go with the runner a bit. I'm not sure because my aim is off or if I'm missing something important. Real gunner, A, your aim has to be really good. B, you need to realize that positioning is just as important as aim and how you do it. It's how you fit in shots between positioning, which if you're focusing on one over the other too hard, it could be uh, detrimental. Which character is the worst best at phase four? I think the best would probably be Real gunner. Best Real gunner. Is there a character that's like the worst at phase four? I don't know, actually. Captain, maybe? Um, maybe. I mean, he could suck up your shift if he gets your microbots, I guess. But, like, if you have a lot of repulsion armor plates with commando or captain, it could take a while. That's a lot of bears, baby. Look at that. 44 tougher times. Alrighty, give me. I think we're probably gonna go. Okay, that's fine. How often is 44 bears block damage? A lot. I know like 30 bears is like 82%. Hell is this build? This is accurate, baby. Like 13, 14 hooves, maybe. Now that's beautiful. Look at that. Alright, this is gonna be a really, really interesting fight, right? I have no feather, no saver spaces. Um, we're just gonna have to have really good jumps and pray that the bears block when I need them to block. Well, if we get a feather at the soup, I'm just taking it, so. If there is a white soup, we're just taking it as well. I don't think uh, Tessa's gonna do a lot for us here. This is a build I see myself uh, dying with <laughs> on Umbral or some shit. Dagger? Dude, why couldn't I have gotten the FMP, man? <laughs> why not? Nikohana's doesn't even matter. I can fucking heal. Anything about Gooba right now, I can't really tell how good it is in general. Gooba's fine. This has kind of a long cooldown. Um, it doesn't scale with your items. So Gooba is one of those items that's better if your build sucks. Have you crafted a Gooba build? Yes, I have. I had a, a multi a retool build. And I had a FMP in one hand with Soulbound and Gooba in the other. And I would just farm goobos and I kept throwing my perma up time. <laughs> Block. <laughs> Ow. The clone dude. This is gonna be a long fight. <laughs> uh oh. Nice. Kubo has better poison than I do, so I'll just let him do damage. His higher base damage. Like the the clone dude. Not right now. <laughs> nice. It's not running after me. You need to block, buddy. 
Need a stall. I don't have one shot protection either, so if I get hit, I'm dead. Holy shit, I just took that orb. me. Oh boy. Jesus Christ. Oh boy. GG, man. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was good. God damn. <laughs> that got me uh, with the shaky hands, dude. <laughs> that was tough. The adrenaline was going on that one for sure. Just have to not die here. <laughs> Let's get our gubos out. Dude set up a perimeter. I took a few stray hits there, and it wasn't perfect, but um, I think I played phase 3 pretty well. Phase 2 was where I took most of my damage. Okay. Jesus. 